Hello and welcome back. I'm Kim Ferguson and this is day three of the May I Scrap Lift You. Today we are featuring Jessica Michaels and I just celebrated her 1,000 subscribers over the weekend. So it's fun to have another layout that I'm going to be um, copying for this layout that I'm doing. So I will have a picture of the layout at the beginning of my video and at the end. The layout is made of triangles and I've gone ahead and done this work ahead of time because I cut it too large the first try and cut it down and I didn't want to waste your time with that. So what I've done is I've used some camping themed adventure paper here. I do not remember the name of this paper pack. Let me pull something. This is Wander. There we go. Luckily I have the zip strip over here at the side. So I cut this in half and I wanted to make sure that I put the triangles in the correct position so like the tent is not upside down. I have used my nutmeg and toffee inks to edge distress because I wanted this to be really kind of rustic because you can see this is an outdoor photo. Yes, I can share a photo with you because you can't see the face of our little guy here. So you can see that it's a waterfall photo really a muddy waterfall photo. <laughs> so I think I'm going to call this muddy waterfall. That might be what my title is going to be. But here's the photo. You can see I've gone around and edge distressed with my distressing tool. I couldn't find my close to my heart one, but I had this Cricut one and you just go back and forth and it rips up that paper and you go as long and as hard as you want until you get to the amount of distress you want. And then I use my sponge dauber to go around and add the nutmeg ink around my photo around the wander pattern paper I use the toffee and then you'll see that like Jessica I added some stamps in the background for splatters so her layout just kind of made me think of something muddy because the way that she had put the splatters on there so what a great way to do splatters for mud and then I found this pig in my paper piecings and it is jumping in mud. So here's some little mud splashes here. So that's what we're going to be adding as far as a paper piecing. I do have some water here and then some grass. I brought in some trees but the trees really are a very different color than what the wander paper is. But I have them over here to the side. You can see again that I have embossed the green for the tree and then I also used a wood grain embossing folder to do the trunk. And then I've gone over with the brown ink. And then I always go with the same color in a darker tone to do my edge distressing. So you can kind of see that there's a dark edge on the sides of the tree. I didn't, however, do any inking on this mud pig. There's some red line tape on the back of it. So that tells me that this would have been kind of back when I was really starting to do paper piecing. I didn't do as detailed of work. I was learning how to do my eyes and I didn't go in and do that distressing on here. You can see the white core of the Close My Heart paper, but that's okay. I didn't want to take the time to edge distress that. We're just going to get going on this layout. Uh oh, that stuck to the picture and that is probably not really good. Oh, it didn't rip it. Good. Okay, so we had this up here because our tent is that direction. This triangle is going to go this way, here, and here. Now looking at this, my triangles are obviously larger than Jessica's, so that's okay. They were much larger when I started, trust me. So <laughs> I think we're going to do a little bit more overlapping. She did have some twine going down and kind of an X on hers. I brought in this in case I decided to do that same thing. But as we can see, mine are really close together. So I think that is what's going to have to be in the center for right now. And that is okay. I'm, I'm really good with that. The problem is, is I need to get everything to where it stays on the 12 by 12 paper. So let's go ahead and we're going to put some ATG on this one. Get it down. So since I'm doing these videos in real time, I am doing a lot of work ahead of time so that it saves on the time of the length of the video because it doesn't give me opportunity to speed it up for you because I am talking. And I did have a comment that having the live video is preferred. So I do appreciate that. 
good to know. Uh, there are times where doing the voiceover is going to have to be done and works better for me because a lot of times I'm either doing some other things and I have to kind of start and stop the video. And so that makes it to where it's easier just to kind of put all the clips together and do the voiceover. But it was really fun to get back into recording in real time. I've, I've been enjoying that with doing these May I Scrap Lift You layouts. I am doing them more at a faster pace than I typically do my monthly collaborations because I'm trying to do one a day. <laughs> so it's helping to do it this way so that I'm getting one a day. So far, so good. So day three, high hopes for all of the month. All right. So there you can see how mine came together. It kind of forms like those arrows. And so I don't think I really need to put the twine in there because that in itself, let me kind of scooch things down so you see this. Yeah, I think we're good with that. So I'm not going to worry about the twine at this point. I do know that I want my little photo to be over here. Maybe at a slant. She has hers. There are three by fours. There's two of them that are slanted. And then she has traveling ephemera around. I was thinking I put my title down here, the muddy waterfall. But over here, we're going to figure out where we can put this cute little pig paper piecing in. So we can kind of offset that up there, put the photo down. And then I have the water that I was going to kind of tuck in and under as if that mud is in around that water so we're just kind of playing around with the idea here because you can see that his little boots he is standing more in the water but it is a very muddy water <laughs> okay so let's see do you like that and that is helping to kind of cover up where those points don't come together very well under under there because it's kind of overlap i do like that they came to an arrowhead, but that's all right. So let's get some adhesive on the back of these. I run just kind of a, a quick, you know, strip behind, and then I can always go back with my liquid glue and add more adhesive later on. Oh, and I didn't mention that I did do the stamp in the background with, so close to my heart stamps, I use the background elements and I use the perfectly imperfect patterns. So you can see these little splatters that I use in the toffee and espresso. So that I did pretty much copy what she had done because she had kind of that paint splatter in there, but she also had like some uh, cross hatching and yeah, just some splatters. So I did want to do that as well. All right, here's our pig in his mud. So really the only thing I'm not doing is I don't have a waterfall coming down, but I guess you could, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's what that is running through there. But it doesn't have to be, you know, a spot on replication of what your photo is. Just kind of the idea, the theme. And I just kind of wanted to put some greenery around because obviously this is like a trail where there's, you know, bushes and ferns and ivy. So let's go ahead and put some adhesive down at the bottom of the mud. That's just kind of how I work and get things placed, but yet there's a little bit of room to move things around. So I'm just trying to see where I want this more. I do like it up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, my photo's gonna go over there. So let's just start putting some of this greenery behind. I have small ones and I have little ones. And then maybe what I can do is put some foam behind my photo to lift it up. That might be an option. Kind of tilt it and then put foam adhesive behind it. All right, and let's see what else we have. Do have some more of this dark green. Let's bring that in down here. Okay, do I want to put 
and green behind the pig or am I am I good with that I think I will yeah let's tuck some green behind the pig too I'll break up that paprika so yeah so this is a photo of obviously my kids out hiking I don't know where they were but this was a um, Facebook post steal of a photo <laughs> <laughs> pretty good at that so I can document things but I I was looking for this little guy on purpose because he loves his rain boots and typically he has two different ones on he has two favorite pairs of rain boots and can never choose which one he really wants to wear so he wears one you know or the other on his feet so he'll have the right from one boot and then the left from another boot set and and that's what he wears I just think that's so adorable so he is uh, five years old oh, excuse me he is four he's almost five that's what threw me off his fifth birthday's coming up okay there is just the little mud spray so they really blend in but hey at least they're there but we're gonna splash these up because what little guy doesn't want to just play in the mud and splash around in their rain boots and make a huge mess? Isn't that what rain boots give them permission to do? That's what I think. Maybe I need to get some rain boots. Because we have had so much rain here in Oregon. We did finally have some good days, but I think there's thunderstorms on their way. So we're going to have some rain again haven't been able to get to mow the lawn put some more glue on there come on don't stick to me there we go okay so there we have our pig with the mud we have our water from the waterfall and then here's our picture I'm not going to add the trees that I brought over I just don't think it's needed but let's look at some brown stickers that I found that I was going to use to do my muddy waterfall title and I didn't pick out two different letters so let's see if I have enough let's see waterfall let's write that first because if we can't get the muddy on there that's okay it's pretty much implied by the uh, pig you know the stomping in the mud but it's definitely a waterfall so let's put waterfall down here I'm thinking I really want the waterfall to be down below in the blue and then the muddy I want to have it on that paprika triangle these do not I don't know where these stickers came from pulling things from the stash so who knows but let's get things used those aren't real good quality but they will do in a pinch because coincidentally they were just sitting right up on top of the bin of my letters so I'm thinking that is perfect this is meant to be I wanted something brown so it would stand up or stand out so yes yeah, so may I scrap lift you is for the month of May and it is by Crystal Barrett who's pineapple papers and she just reaches out and says who, who wants to be scrap lifted? Who wants to join in? And a lot of people said me, me, me. And so there's a list that she has provided in the Scrappy Inspiration for YouTube and Instagram um, Facebook group. And a lot of us said, yeah, this sounds awesome. And so she, you can either go by that list or you can reach out and ask people if it's okay to scrap lift their work. And most people... If you're putting something up on the internet, you're really kind of already giving that permission that, you know, please be inspired by this. Now, if you're going to copy something perfectly, that's a different story. But always be courteous. And if you're even inspired somebody by somebody and you don't do exactly what they did, it's a compliment to me if somebody does something similar to what I've done. But it's nice to just reach out and say, hey, you know, I, I saw your layout. I saw your project. Is it okay if I scrap lift you? And I bet you, just for the fact that you thought about asking, they're probably going to say yes. But may I scrap lift you? That's what it's all about. So it's kind of that 
do you want to do this and then unspoken yeah i'm going to find a layout in that list and do a scrap lift of it so if you're interested in doing that there is a playlist below of everyone that's participating all right waterfall i spelled it right yes okay do we think we can get muddy up there so i need an m two d's a U and a Y. So we should be fine. Perfect. I'm going to start with the Y. Put that down here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to try as best I can to center this. Now I'm going to warn you that Miss Allie is wandering around down the, by my feet. So there's a good possibility she may jump up here. Been doing that a lot. Okay. Yep, there she is on my leg. Hi, Ali. All right. I was trying to spell muddy, Ali. Can you wait for me to pick you up? Can you wait? All right, here's you. I love that this sticker set, as well, you know, it's not the best quality, but it has a lot of vowels in it. A lot of sticker sets don't. Have them. That's why I do a lot more stamp alphas so that I can stamp my own titles and never run out of certain letters. All right, Muddy Waterfall. Doesn't get any better than that for a little boy in his rain boots. So there is that. Now let's see, I talked about popping this photo up. So I'm still trying to work through just getting this foam tape used up so let's bring it in and put some foam adhesive behind this and then we'll take a quick look at the layout to see if it just needs anything else but i don't think it does the only thing would be is if i wanted to add any more of the splatters with the toffee or the uh, espresso that might be the only thing that may be on that bottom orange triangle we'll give it a look here See what we think. Oops. What do you think of my new lights? I've been using these for probably a good two months now. I don't have to turn on my Ot light, which I seem to think it always left lines kind of running up in the video. So these are brighter for me to be able to see my work surface. So hopefully it's better quality for the filming too. All right, let's see. What do we think? I think that is done. So Jessica, thank you so much for your creative style and for sharing your layouts with us and offering up the opportunity for us to scrap lift you. I hope that I have done you justice in using your design and creating much like yours. I'll go back off camera and I'll put more adhesive behind this pig to get him anchored down well. But that is my muddy waterfall layout for our little guy celebrating his love of his rain boots and maybe just inspire us all to get that kid out of us and go out with our rain boots and splash in the mud a little bit and have some laugh and fun. Thanks for being here, you guys. And I will hope to see you tomorrow because in the list is Kim Ferguson. So maybe tomorrow you'll see a few people scrap lifting something from all of my layouts that I've shared on YouTube instagram linkedin facebook and pinterest so those will all be listed below as well as my amazon affiliate link and my website for close to my heart thank you so much for coming by today and i will see you next time happy crafting